I wanted to make another quick video on this topic, just again to show how easy this process is. So here we're using the Lensar Ally and cutting the Rexus first, and you'll see that bright flash, that's actually the femtosecond laser cutting into the ICL a little bit, which is not a problem, and then it easily penetrates through the ICL to subdivide the nucleus. So this case was particularly normal, like any other flax case, and there we make the arcuate incisions. So, so far, nothing different from a routine cataract surgery at all. Now we make the paracentesis as you would before any cataract surgery and use OVD to stabilize the eye. And then for the incision, I always try to find the plane of the initial ICL incision, which I think we did here. Then it's all about rotating the ICL into a more vertical position. And this is just a matter of leverage and using the sulcus space to allow for that rotation here. And once we have it into a vertical position, it's really helpful sometimes to pop one of the haptics at least up in front of the iris, and this will make removal just that much easier. So now we can place some OVD behind the eye cell to create space, and now when we grab it, we make sure we're grabbing into the optic a little bit. That's the thickest point along the, the rim of the optic there. And you can do a hand over hand technique here, but it's not even necessary sometimes. The column material is so flexible, and look how clear it is after all those years in the eye. You could hardly tell if there's anything on it at all. Cataract surgery proceeds as normal, as you can see here, and it's like the eye seal was never there, so the eye is essentially untouched, and that's the beauty of the technology. And I'm amazed that the material is just pristine after all those years.